Live from Studio 7E in Rockefeller Center, this is Weekend Today in New York. Coming up, is your life hectic, even yes. chaotic? Yes. 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 Up next, we're going to help put some order back into your life with some professional help from professional organizer Bonnie Barrios. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We're one month into the new year, and for some of us, it may be time to reevaluate the resolutions that we made for 2011. If you've been sticking to your guns, that's great. But statistics show that after a month, more than a third of you have already given up. Getting yourself and your family organized is among the top promises that many make. So if you need to get back on track, professional organizer Bonnie Barrios of Be Organized, Be Inspired is here to help us all. Hello, Hi. Bonnie. Good Thank morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming in. <laughs> well, first of all, we just want to talk about the benefits of being organized. It can really help you and your family. Yes, absolutely. It's what I call the side effects of decluttering. Mm -hmm. So people say side effects of decluttering, yes, you get more clarity, you get more energy, you get newfound space. It just really um, helps your everyday routine. And you can find your stuff. And you can find <laughs> your stuff, key. which is essential. <laughs> yes. All right, well, you have some tried and true tips for setting goals and actually achieving them when it comes to being organized. The first is just tackle one area at a time. Yes, you know, I tell all my clients, you know, don't try to do everything all at once. Mm -hmm. Get yourself a little timer. Give yourself 20 minutes, half an hour every day, and go start small. Start mm -hmm. with your wallet. Start with a, a drawer. Start with your makeup case. You know, all of us have so many makeup, you know, that lipstick. That's five years old. Exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Throw it away. Don't need it. Don't so need it. So one area at a time and establish a block of time. Yes. And also make temporary piles. Temporary piles. Temporary piles are good because then everything is in categories and everything is together. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you find something like, oh, this is a makeup, put all the makeup together. Put all the kid stuff together. Likes with likes. And then you just go and put it away. Put it away and be ready to throw away. Be ready to throw away. You know, we accumulate so many things that we just don't need. Just really ask yourself, like, is this really serving a purpose? Do I really need this? Mm -hmm. And if the answer is no, then you don't need I it. I do that cleaning out the closet. I say, I haven't worn this for a year, you but don't. still I try it on yeah. and I keep it. Yeah. Why do I keep things? Because I, I don't know. we have emotional attachment to things. That's yeah. what it is, emotional attachments. You really have to ask yourself, is this serving a purpose and do I really need it? Does it make me feel great? Yeah, and, and a tip for kind of continuing this day after day one thing is the mail kind of the get, mail. deal with the mail once the it comes mail. in you know designate a home and that's one of my main things you know everything in your house should have a home designate a home the mail comes in put it there go through it right away throw away all the junk mail and just keep the mail that you need to read there and plan for the day ahead. Yes, exactly. Okay, well let's go through some of the actual items that can help us stay organized. Yes, yes. First you have this very interesting, yes. I think I made one of these in homeroom, Did you? or not in homeroom, in shop class or whatever, homemaking class in like fifth grade. One of these hanging kind of files. Yes, I love locker, it. Though, I, I think love it. Was for. These are some of my favorite items over here. I mean, I really love this hanging file folder. You could um, designate it however you want. If you're a mom, it could be you, your husband, all your children, you can label it. I love using my label maker. Mm -hmm. So just label it. It could be incoming mail, outgoing mail, school papers, papers that need to be signed, whatever you need it for, hang it in your workstation. Hmm. And I know what helps me, especially with mail, is I actually have hanging file folders, like a, f a file right, cabinet. Right, right, so right. there's a place for everything. Right. Otherwise, you know where to put it. Exactly. So that's kind of a similar idea. And this is interesting. This oh. is kind of like a mommy agenda. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So this is a mommy organizer. And what I like about this, as you could see, is that it has your area, and then you get four extra slots for your kids. Mm. Um, you could actually put your husband there, too, if you want. <laughs> he, but, he's in the kitchen. Category. And the kid okay. So, but here, there's no problem. Like, everybody knows what's going on, what's the activities. It's great for your nanny or your babysitter. You open it up, you're like, oh, okay, I have a play date, mm -hmm. I have a doctor's appointment, and they could see also what your day is like. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. And I love books. I love having something in my hand, but some people prefer electronic help and, and you have a good for app my for this. gadget friendly yeah. moms I found this awesome app on the iPhone it's called cozy family organizer you download it it keeps everybody's schedules in your house you could put doctor's appointments play dates it also reminds you so you get a little reminder mm -hmm. of what's going on you can make you can create shopping lists because I've been to the supermarket God knows how many times and I'm like Okay, what was, what was that other thing yes, that I needed? Yes. So you could create all your shopping lists. You could also also create a family journal. So like if you're out and about, you take a picture, you upload it right away, and then you write in what happened with your kids. I mean, I, I love it. Great ideas. Bonnie Barrios, thank you so much. Oh, Here's to an you. organized 2011. Absolutely. We can all get organized. Thank Absolutely. you again for coming. Thank you.